Hi everyone, this is Rick Delgarno, Product Manager for Helios Products. In this video, I'm going to discuss what's new in Helios PFA 2018. Each release we try to focus on three categories. For market impact, the big news is that Helios PFA is an entitlement to Moleflow Insight Ultimate subscription customers. In experience and customer intimacy, we've added support for the latest versions of Apicus and Ansys, and have added checks to ensure fiber orientation model compatibility between Moleflow and Helios. Finally, the performance and accuracy of our plasticity and rupture model has been improved, which falls under our thought leadership initiative. First and foremost, I am very excited to announce the highlight for Helios PFA 2018. Moleflow Insight Ultimate customers who are on subscription are now entitled to use Helios PFA at no additional cost. Uh, many of our Insight customers are increasingly using Helios PFA for as manufactured structural analysis and to that end, we wanted to expand access to Helios PFA to all users of Insight Ultimate to add value to their subscription. Now we've implemented the entitlement to be user-friendly. The Helios PFA installation file will be available from your Autodesk account. Also, license cascading has been enabled. This means that when a Helios analysis is, is submitted to the solver, Helios will check for a Helios license first. Um, if one is not found, then it will check for an Insight Ultimate subscription license. In other words, you won't have to main two licenses, license files, just one. We've also added support for the latest versions of Apicus and Ansys in an effort to ensure that Helios is compatible with current versions of your FEA solver of choice. Specifically, Helios 2018 is compatible with Abacus 2017 and Ansys 17.2 and 18.0. Now, when a model is being characterized in Helios 2018, the rotation diffusion fiber orientation model is used. This model needs to be consistent with the fiber orientation model used in the Moleflow simulation. Uh, the default fiber orientation model used in the Moleflow simulation is version specific. Uh, versions 2017 R2 and newer use the rotation diffusion model, but prior to 2017 R2, either the RSC or, or Folger Tucker models were used. So in order to ensure consistent fiber orientation models, there are, are now warnings issued in AME that will alert the user to this issue and will provide guidance on resolution. Finally, our team has improved the accuracy of the rupture behavior and material characterization for injected molded plastic materials. A new rupture failure criteria has been implemented and the rupture failure coefficients are now dependent on discrete values of the first eigenvalue of the fiber orientation tensor. Uh, the net result here is improved accuracy and a more stable rupture response. Thanks for your time.